Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Check this out. So today, we're going to talk about compound assignment and increment and decrement. So again, in this little mini series of ours where we're talking about operators. So this is the site, c++.com. I'm just using this as a quick reference because I just don't have the energy of typing out all of these. But go ahead here, follow the link in the description, and uh, and check out this homepage. Uh, it's a really good place to just uh, for references and all that. So let's start uh, with compound assignment. Now it means compound assignment is the same thing basically as assignment. It's just that we assign something and then to a variable, but we keep its original value and we add or multiply or subtract from that value and then assign it back. So let me just. I know it might not have been the most clear definition here, but if you have x minus equals 5, obviously if you remove the minus, you just have x equals 5, right? And that's that gives the value 5 to x. But if you have x minus equals or plus equals or multiplied equals, in this case, in the subtraction, you say x, if x is 15, you say x minus equals 5, that will give us this is the same thing as this, right? So 15 equals 15 minus 5, or x equals 15 minus 5, and that is x equals 10 now. So it, it took the original value of x, whatever it was, and then removed 5 from that, and then added it back, assigned it back to x. So it's a nice way of adding and removing stuff from a variable, uh, from numbers basically, and just making them increment or decrement, right? Kind of in that way. Uh, but instead of doing it with just one, you can do it with any number and whatever you want to do. So that's good to know. Uh, now, obviously, we're going to make some examples. We're going we're gonna to check out some stuff. And we're going to talk about increment and decrement as well. And this is basically the same thing. It's just that it's with one every time, right? So it's plus one or minus one every time. And you can put these plus or minus signs before or after the variable. And we'll talk about what the difference is between those as well. But let's start off with compound assignment. Now, let's make an integer. i equals 20, right? Let's print out the value of 20. Now, all of you probably know that um, this is going to give me 20, right? So let's just run this. Let's see it, that it's 20, just so we're happy. Uh, come on, please. Come on. Okay, so 20, right? Let's see if I'm recording. Yes, I am. Good. Okay, so 20. Perfect. Um, now, what if I do this? I plus equals 5. So what do you think this is going to give me? Is it going to give me 5? I equals 5? Or is it going to give me I equals something else? So let's see. I equals 25. Right? So because I, I took... This is the same thing as writing this. Look, I'll get 25 again. I equals I plus 5. I take the value 20, which is an i. Remember, programming goes from the left to the right. So right now, i is 20. Whatever is in i, i will become whatever is in i, 20, plus 5. And this whole thing will go in to i. All right? And then we'll have 25. So what if I write 15 here? I should have 35. Yep, perfect. So this is not the same thing as writing i equals 15 because that will just give me 15, right? It's not the same thing. Now, what if we what if we do this? If we have another variable, int k equals 10, and I say i equals i plus k, what's going to happen then? Obviously, we're going to get 30, right? But I can do this as well plus equals k then I'll get 30 as well see see how that works so it's a shorter version short way of writing i equals i plus k so there you go now let's try some more things um, let us try i multiplied equals uh, k so now i is going to be 30. So this is going to be 30 or i equals to 30 
times 10 so it should give me 300 if I print this out 300 right there 300 see so that gave me 300 and if I say now when I have 300 I divided equals 2 that should give me 150 150 there you go see because we're going down the I is changing with all of these because this is compound assignment we're actually assigning this to I we're not just writing I divided by 2 because that's just gonna give me a result whatever I is divided by 2 result but it's not gonna change I itself but this equals to sign says that we're changing I as well whatever the result is we're putting it back into I to the variable so that's good to know right that's nice now that was easy so you can you can play around with that and you can you can try it out you can see the different types of compound assignment you have modulo and these are a little more weird excuse me these are a little more weird so I'm not going through them right now they're a little more advanced so you don't have to worry about that right now but check this out and, and just read about it here and you'll probably understand it so uh, don't worry too much about it but let's go into increment and decrement so again I talked about them this the same thing as this just with one and plus okay it's only addition and it only adds one so if I say if I make a new variable or if I just use K I say uh, I'll do another C out so or I'll use I I plus plus so whatever I is should be 150 plus 1 it's gonna give me 151 see but and I, if I put this before it's gonna give me 151 so it's the same thing before or after it doesn't matter same thing with minus minus it's gonna remove one instead so 149 see good and that's good in loops because you can kind of loop through and and add one to a number each time to know which loop you're on like we saw in the for loops we use that plus plus after the I to keep going iterating loops so that's really good to know now if we look at how this postfix and prefix works so plus plus I equals prefix and I plus plus equals postfix so let's talk about this now I'm just gonna tell you before I talk about it what this does so prefix is use value before change this is kinda voodoo magic for you right now I understand that don't worry I'll, I'll explain don't worry about it uh, let me see so this is change value before use all right so let me let me conduct a test right now so I is 150 right here at this point it's 150 so if I do plus plus I and I print that out it's gonna give me 151 and if I do I plus plus it should also let's see what we get 150 okay so now you're like what the hell just happened one thing gave me one thing one thing gave me a value increment and the other one didn't so you're like why wasn't I incremented what the hell just happened but what if I just print out I after this post fix so let me do this again let me let me have two printouts of I and I hope you'll understand so the first printout is gonna be again the prefix the one that gave us change so it's 151 151 all right but if I put it afterwards I do it we'll see 150 and 151 you're like what the hell what just happened again so it incremented it but it didn't print out the incremented value but rather when we came here it printed out the incremented value so here you get the uh, here here it's kind of like it does something but it doesn't show you the result just yet and here the next time you see the actual value of I so this is what I mean with this if you want to increment the variable with one you can use this or this and same for subtraction it won't matter which way you do it because it is just incrementing one thing and ending the statement that's all it's doing doesn't matter which side it's on but when you are in a kind of operation like this when you're trying to print it, the value out 
in in the middle of some kind of operation even when you're saying k equals i plus plus or k equals plus plus i this is also an operation this is something happening this isn't just changing the value of i and ending the statement this is actually something the computer sees as a, an operation in a way in different type of operation so let me just explain this as well as I can in some kind of operation like this when you're assigning it to something in a for loop and an if statement and anything like that even if you write like this if I plus plus equals 20 or if you write plus plus i equals 20 this is also an operation it's checking something it's doing something and then this is very useful because sometimes it uses the value before the change and sometimes it changes the value before the use so what happened here was when I had the post fix post which means after pre means before the computer said okay let me change the value but I won't use the changed new value before the end of this statement and the next statement begins so up until this operation ends it's gonna use the old value of this variable but it's still gonna behind the scenes change it it's gonna add one to it so the next time it's used in anything it's gonna be changed but if you use the prefix that's telling the computer that hey I wanna change the value first and actually completely change the value by one add one to it and then use it in this operation so in this case if we said k equals plus plus I plus plus this is the post fix K would be 150 because post fix says, says that we want to use the old value of I before the increment before using this put it into K and then change the value of I for the next time it's used but if we say K plus plus I we're saying okay change the value of I first and then put it into K so I hope you understand how that works right now all right, because we can test this. All right, k k plus plus, just like this. And instead of printing that out, we're just gonna print out k. Okay, so k equals i plus plus, one fifty. All right, because it's post fix. It didn't. It changed the value, but it did not. And if I print out i after this, just like that. Okay, so it it did change the value of i, which is the lowest number here, but it put the old value of i into k. But rather, if I do this, let's see, the prefix, we change the value of i first, then we put it into k, which is 151, and then we print the value of i. So I know I'm babbling a lot, but I really hope, I really want you to get this because you might not see the value of this right now, but later on, you will. Trust me, later on, you will. When you start coding more and more, you'll know that there's value in this. All right. And especially in, in sometimes in, in loops and stuff like that, can be really good to use this. Uh, so yeah, just remember that and it works in if statements as well. So so trust me on that just you can try it out and see What's gonna happen? <coughs> uh, but yeah, that's it for this video. I think it's not too much in this video. Just go ahead and read about it here and how that works and Next time we'll probably talk about the relational comparison operators Which we did talk about a little bit when we talked about the if statements. We'll also go through the logical operators and then also this this ternary operator which is kind of useful sometimes but uh but yeah so that's about it and then probably the comma operators so this is going to be a little bit about other operators uh, but yeah thanks for watching i hope you learned something keep working hard and i'll see you guys and girls in the next one right bye bye